morning everybody, unless of course you're watching this video in the evening, in that case good evening, and you're watching Time Travel TV, and on Sunday, England won the Cricket World Cup. <laughs> Hooray! Uh, so today I thought we'll do a special episode all about cricket. How wonderful. Now, first of all, when were the first rules of cricket, cricket decided? Now, the first written rules of cricket was in 1744, and... Uh, the, some of them were a bit mundane, so I had to write them down in order to remember that's how mundane some of them were. <coughs> the principal shall choose from amongst the gentlemen present. I don't know what that means. Uh, if you do know what that means, please write in the comments and enlighten me. The two umpires who shall absolutely decide all disputes. Well, that's simple enough, the umpires settle all the arguments. Uh, number three. The ball. Oh yes, that's, um, that's this, I know what that is. Has to be between five and six ounces. That's fair enough. The stumps, oh yeah, that, that, that's these, have to be it, uh, 22 yards apart. Good! Uh, the thing is, is that um, these rules were quite liberally interpreted, so in uh, 1760 they had to be re evaluated and revised. And. <coughs> the ball, that's this no longer had to be between five and six ounces, it now had to be between five and a half and five and three quarter ounces. I see. And the bat, oh yes, yes, that's this, now had to be four inches wide. Now the main two points from the revised rules. Now at this point it was more common to roll the ball along the ground like this. So therefore most cricket bats didn't look like this, they actually looked a bit like this. Now many the more observant among you would notice that this looks suspiciously like a hockey stick. That's because it is a hockey stick. And many cricket bats look exactly like a hockey stick due to the fact they rolled the balls along the ground. Uh, it wasn't until they specified they had to be four inches wide that most cricket bats looked like this. Uh, uh, a big, uh, quite a big turning point actually in the history of cricket came about in 1774, where there was two very important events. The first one was the introduction of the LBW. Now, the LBW was leg before wicket, that's when you st stop the ball hitting the wickets uh, with your leg. You may only stop the ball hitting the wicket with your bat. Uh, also, another important thing is that the introduction of the third wicket, uh, third stump rather, uh, is more is a better term. Uh, this was because of the LBW. Uh, it, before it was uh, common only to have two stumps. Uh, at that point, uh, later on, uh, the third stump became more popular. Not only that, the cricket ball actually started looking like a cricket ball. Before it just looked like a lump of wood, which was round. Now it looked like a lump of wood with a bit of red leather around it, which some nice stitching. In the 19th century, some more important events came along. Uh, one of which being pads, uh, because before it wasn't common to have pads. Uh, it, they would expect a piece of wood, as this, to be thrown at you at 90 miles an hour, and if you die, that's a shame. Uh, they actually started to protect their players after that. Also the introduction of boundaries, which was the thing around the outside of the pitch. That could be any size you like. Uh, before, there was no fours or sixes, you just ran backwards forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. You get the idea. Uh, another big introduction is the introduction of the overarm bowl. Like that. Before, no more rolling. No more rolling. Have to do it properly this time. Can't even do it like that. Uh, another big introduction was the introduction of wides. No more throwing the ball in the complete opposite direction and moaning at the batsman for not hitting it. You now had to throw it directly at him. Well, not at him, but you get the idea. Now, cricket was invented by the English, and the English controlled all most of the world. So, therefore, they gave cricket to most of the world. For instance, Australia, India, New Zealand, South Africa. 
and the Australians became particularly good at it, mainly because they introduced a national working day. No one was allowed to work more than eight hours a day in the hot Australian sun. So that means eight hours working, eight hours sleeping, and eight hours playing cricket. When England introduced it later on, it was uh, ten hours working, eight hours sleeping, and only six hours playing cricket. When France introduced it, it was twelve hours working, so that's why you never see a French cricket team. But never mind. The first Ashes Test between England and Australia came about in 1883. Uh, moving into the 20th century, the first Cricket World Cup was in 1973, which was the Women's Cricket World Cup, incidentally. You had to wait another two years for the Men's Cricket World Cup to come out in 1975. And then that brings us to today, the sport we all know and love, cricket. To play on a lovely, warm, hot summer's day like today. So, stop watching this video and start playing a lovely game of cricket. Over and out.